Hi everyone, my name is Fran Bell O'Milary. Welcome to our channel, O Chareo. Chareo, Alda Che, Chenife Chocun, Chenife Maru, Chenife La Ocha. Today, we want to talk about the difference between Aladimun and Adimuses. Now we want to start a series about them. Why? Because it's important to share with the community that you can attend your worries. For example, they are Gaki that they just have the worries, Olokum and Orumila, and they really don't know how to attend them and work with them. And we need to know that when we offer something for our Orisha, could be an Aladimu that is something fresh, like flower for a sun or uh, water, and obi, or Adimu, something that we cook for them, that we elaborate this offering to our Orishas, we are getting close to them. And then they see that we attend them, and this is something that our Orisha appreciate when we work with them constantly. Don't have to be any single week, but could be once a week. This week you work with Elegua. Next week, for example, you work with Ogum, or next month with the Orisha. But from time to time, you put some Alak Dibu. Because you like when people attend you. You like when the people... Uh, Give you a present. Don't have to be a huge gift. Just a present. It's something that satisfies us and we feel happy. With someone say, oh, how are you? I don't see you for a long time here. I bring you this, a cigar or flower for a woman. It's something that we really appreciate, that the people remember us. So it's the same thing with the rich. When we uh, offer them something from our hands. D is to a sacrifice something simple. Um, um, however, it's something that gives us a better position with all of them. Now here, for example, we have the difference between Aladimu and Adimu. We are talking now about the coconut. Today we want to speak about the coconut. Here we have in one side Obi, then it's a coconut and water. When we do that, the hikara with all water, it is something that we even uh, put in front of our orichas any day. When we now put the the coconut, we just put the hikara with water. If, for example, you want to present to a legua because you just have the worries, this water you add wrong. A little wrong, and you offer it to a legua. And we need to know that when we are in the drone, for example, that the oricha comes to the earth, the first thing that we prepare and we offer our oricha is water. Sometimes we are sleeping and we don't know which one of them come to visit us. And we say, oh, I think with Obatala, or oh, oh, I think with Ochum. Yeah, but they come to your dream. They come from heaven, so they need water. That's why it's important that, that in front of our Orisha, we have the Hikara with water. Some people don't use the Iba. For example, some people have the cap, the glass cap in front of the Orisha. Uh, it's good too, or a glass with water. It doesn't matter, but in the place that we have, our Orisha, we are supposed to have some water for them. In the other side, we see the sweet coconut. The sweet coconut is one of the favorite petri for our Orishas, too, that we can put to, for example, to Obatala, eight of them, coquitos, like we call, and for Jemaya, seven, Olokun, nine, Elegua, three of them, and this is something that this all the opportunity is something simple that we can pass for any bakery and buy an offer 
it to them. And like I said before, it, they appreciate that we attend them like that. In another way that we can use the coconut, even we have problem with health in our home. We just buy the green coconut and this green coconut we put in any corner. If we have San Lazarus, we put next to San Lazarus. Or in the bedroom, you have any person that is sick and stay in bed, we put this green coconut over there. When it get dry and you see that it's brown, something like that, you take this coconut with seven penny, a kueya and a wadum, and you bury this coconut outside your house. Like you bury this coconut, like every single illness, illness that could be in your house, get buried to you. And also we can prepare the ebomi sea, a bath with coconut water with escoamarga that is a gray, a gray air to prepare when we speak about a bomacy for health. Also, the apasote that is good for our skin too. With the cundiamon, the sabia, romerillo, and yerba mora. You prepare a bath with that when you have anyone sick at home and you could see the result because everything get better because these herbs, all of them are herbs of San Lazarus. Now we see the coconut like a divination. How we use the coconut in our divination system. We know that it was the first so we use the coconut in every single ceremony. Obi Yomi Tutola, you see the Hikala was water. Also, we use for divination because we ask our orishas yes or no with the coconut and water to do the moyuba. Next to that, we have the chamalongo. We use the chamalongo in palo that we do then with the skin of the coconut. And then also the equal of orumila, the traditional one is made with coconut. You can see that the coconut is something important in our religion that we can use it in so many different ways. Here we have the coconut that is so white and beautiful. And remember that the coconut because he had a lot of ego, Olofi, condemned him to be on the floor, and that uh, he going to be uh, rolling in the house and rolling in the street, the people going to use it in so many different ways that like we see today. That's why in this religion, no matter the position that we have, we are supposed to be humble. We are supposed to respect others because like today everything is white tomorrow it could turn black so it's important for us always remember the patakin of the obi because now we're going to see how we can use the obi tune like the ebo in the house just rolling the coconut the first thing that we're going to do to prepare the coconut for the Ebo Ile is to purify it with rum. And after that, we add palm oil and we rub it with palm oil. This is just to prepare it. And then after that, we want to use the cascarilla. I want to a cascarilla as much as we can. We want to roll this coconut from the back to the front, always with our feet of our broom in the entire, entire house. And later when we finish, we want to break it outside the house 
could be in the park, could be in the forest, you can um, pitch it against the, the tree, for example, to break it. And with that, we finish. Like we break this coconut that all the cares and all the problems that we have in our home be free of that. Here we have the way to keep the coconut clean and healthy. Inside of the bottle with water, we add cocoa butter. This is something that my goddaughter uh, told me to keep them clean and healthy. And then is the way you can use it so many times because in the religious house, you always need coconut. So in this way, we can keep it in the refrigerator healthy and we can use them more than before. This is the great way to keep the coconut safe and clean. I hope that this video be helpful for all of you. Leave your comment below if you have any comment, a like if you really like this video. Subscribe to this channel to receive notification of our new videos. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Health, faith, and prosperity. Ya tu sabes. Oh, chavete.